Okay, this is Hawaii, the state of clean energy. <laughs> <coughs> Sharon Moriwaki and I do this. <clears throat> we're we're co-hosts on that show, <clears throat> and we're celebrating Howard Green today. Howard, <laughs> Howard, Howard Wood today. I told you you're doing this is proper. Friday. Yeah. So that's why, because mm -hmm. this is usually Must on be. Wednesday. This is Howard Wig. <laughs> Howard Wig. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Howard Wig is the host of Code Green. That's my reason. I, for I like version. Howard Green. You like it? Okay, yeah. we'll make the show then Code mm -hmm. Wig. Yeah. Never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, we've been talking in the earlier uh, segment of it, we've been talking about the award that Howard got, which is on the table, uh, at the Hawaii Energy Clean Day, I mean, the Hawaii Clean Day, Hawaii Clean Energy Day <laughs> program uh, on Monday this week, uh, August 20th, 28th. Okay, and, uh, and he's, he's properly feted, he's properly an award winner, but now we're going to talk about, you know, what comes out of all of that, because the, he was able to get the code, the building code changed in Hawaii to be modernized and updated and more aware, conscious, built-in energy efficiency things. And, and tropicalized. And tropicalized, uh, that's a new word we've just found. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> that's what I want to know from you. I mean, the, the title of this uh, uh, segment is actually 2.2 what sent electricity mm -hmm. um, kiss the toad mm -hmm. you might explain to the people what, <laughs> what in the world that means okay so uh, we go back to the fairy tale days and the princess comes along and the toad says if you kiss me I'll become a prince <laughs> and sometimes it worked out sometimes it didn't and the deal is that when people think of energy efficiency or renewables they think PV on the roof, photovoltaics on the roof. That is the prince in action. It's a bright, shiny object. It's moss to the flame. And they, oh, that's all they want. And they can brag about it like they can brag about a new Sell car. Sell the neighbors, what not. Yeah. <laughs> Status symbol. But <laughs> energy efficiency is invisible, it's dull. It's boring. Are you saying it's, it's a toad? <laughs> yes. Energy <laughs> efficiency is it's like a toad. <laughs> yeah. But if people will embrace it and kiss that energy efficiency toad, boom, they've got a prince of a deal on their hands. 2.2 cents. cents. Compare Ooh. that with 20 and 30 and mm -hmm. gosh knows how high, high, much higher than 40 cents. So how, how you, 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 we need you to explain how you get the 2.2 right. cents. Is that on the wall or what? How do you <laughs> calculate that? Okay. So LEDs are the easiest example that I, I can give. You spend, well, now you go into a big box and you can buy, say, four LEDs for $9. What's that? $2.36 per lamp. So that's costing you something. You unscrew the old incandescent, say, screw in the LED, you're saving, you're using only 10% as much energy as before. And then you multiply the number of hours that that LED is burning. And one of you should know how many hours an LED burns. Thousands. 50,000 minimum. 50,000. Mm. So if you're saving, you've went down from a 100 watt lamp to a 10 watt lamp, 90 For watts. All those saving, hours, mm. that's a ton. Multiplied by 50,000 hours, all in exchange for a cost premium of, say, $3.10 because a new incandescent would have cost you 60 cents anyway. And you divide that, I won't go into the math, you both would fall asleep. But in this case. You could never do that to us, Howard. <laughs> in this case, the cost per kilowatt hour saved is not just. 2.2 cents, it's some minuscule fraction of 2.2 cents. Now you transfer that to other technologies that don't have that incredible pay, oh, plus the LED is cool, the incandescent is hot, what do we need in our homes, mm, more heat? No, let's heat, yeah. your air conditioning load goes down, same same for commercial buildings. Mm. So there, that's the so that's icing on the cake. Are you saying that these LEDs are part of the code? Uh, yes, well, uh, high, that high efficacy. Lighting is part of the code. LEDs have improved so much that we have ratcheted up the lumens per watt. That's how you measure miles per get gallon. Get more light. Uh, no, you get, in exchange for a watt of energy in, you get X lumens out. Oh, more lumens per kilowatt hour, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we have ratcheted the code up such that the only thing you can use now is, is LEDs. 
And for the Hawaii Amendment, I've ratcheted it up even further. So when a builder builds and hands mm -hmm. you the keys, whatever, mm -hmm. that house is going to have LEDs all through it. Yep. Yep. It must. Uh, in this case, the code specifies that 75% of all lighting must be LED. But as long as you're installing them, why not just do 100%? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you say... How come you couldn't get 100% into the code? Uh, because we... <laughs> we cra crafted the model code about three and a half years ago. LEDs hadn't yet really taken off like gangbusters the way, the way they So have there's, you have to wait until the next four years to uh, ratchet it up to what it... Uh, yeah, we, we had uh, <laughs> the last code hearings uh, about nine months ago in uh, Kansas City, and we managed to get 90%. Required ninety percent of all. Oh, in the national, no, the national. It's national uniform yeah. national code yeah. is what it, is. Yeah. it has to be adopted in each state. Mm -hmm. But it's uniform. That's what you were working yeah. on. Uniform yeah. code. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a national code. Yeah. Okay. Well, so we talked stop, about. I LED. just want to ask another mm -hmm. question because this this has to do with we had the code now. It's a statewide mm -hmm. code, just like the federal. The national has a code, but each mm -hmm. state has to has to implement. It has to execute. Mm -hmm. What? Do we have to do on the county level because it's sitting there on the shelf but it doesn't mean anything until the counties do something mm -hmm. is that correct so what what do they need to do and how hard is that well the there is this entity called the hawaii building code council and it's created by law mandatory we meet once a month and all four county building division managers sit on that council that is permitting managers uh, Who are no, they? they're, they're is the it's like DPP. Is that yeah, the they're, they're the county Planners? equivalent of uh, well, DPP is, is the local, local, and then within DPP there's the building code manager. Okay, got it. Yeah, it used to be Tim Hugh, now mm -hmm. somebody else, mm -hmm. because Tim Tim got uh, uh, elevated, and every county has that, and they sit on the council, and as we talk about adopting a new code and amending. And in, it, in Hawaii's case, we amend the heck out of the energy code. They must buy off on it because they have a subcommittee, the four of them, and they meet separately and they vote separately. And every, all four of them must buy off on any new codes, any new amendments. For therefore. their county? Yeah. Not for the state? Do they have input on the state also? Yeah. Because See, this council has input in the state, but mm -hmm. uh, I guess uh, Sharon was getting at, or at least I would be getting at, uh, what do the counties have to do to implement this code as far as that county is concerned? Oh, okay. How much latitude do they have? So, what does state? Kauai need to do? Mm -hmm. What does the Big Island? What does uh, Maui yeah, have to yeah. do? Well, the, the first step is what I, I described. You must approve it, and in this case, Governor Ige has signed it into law. But now, the law is not self executing, it does not bind say the county of Maui nope. without action by the county council Precisely. Of Maui, right? It it why did that have so to happen? Why don't they just say this will bind all all counties in the state? Don't they have the, the power to do that in the state legislature? Yeah. So what are they we're, we're why are home, they holding back? We're a home rule state. What do you think the counties would say about it? Well, but they were in on it, weren't they mm -hmm. in on it? Good point. Yeah. Sounds a bit like a kabuki to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's traditional, and it's not just the energy code. It's the plumbing code, the electrical code, oh. seismic code, everything. So, but at the end of the day, when the counties <laughs> approve this, it's the same code, isn't it? Yeah. But oh, they, oh, they, they they take liberties. They can amend. Yeah. Do they? Uh, to a minor, minor extent. To show they're involved. So they customize, yeah. you mm -hmm. mean they customize it to Kauai or uh, Maui? Mm -hmm. It's because the, tr the, the tropical considerations in Maui are different than the Big Island. Mm -hmm. Maybe the temperature or something, the wind, what? Mm -hmm. What could be different? Oh, I, I, I could tell a, tell a lot of tales like that. But it, it's up to them, the building code managers who attend the council, to go back to their boss, the head of public works, and say, hey boss, this is good. We got to adopt it, and the public works boss goes to the mayor. Hey, mayor, we got to adopt it. And in this case, I know that three out of the four mayors in town are very aware of this, and they want it. Now, uh, well, number one, they have hasn't to, happened yet. Hasn't happened too early. And so that's step one within the county. Step two is once the administration has bought off on it, they have to introduce it to the county council. County Council has to consider three readings, each separated by a month. If on the third reading it's approved, 
goes back to the mayor's office for signature. And let me, let me, uh, none, none of the counties have gotten to the stage of introducing to the council. So it hasn't been, so that's, that's your next award, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. making well, sure they introduce it. So what it. were yeah. they doing these 10 years while you were putting <laughs> mm -hmm. this they were waiting. The they're, they're getting uh, <laughs> preoccupied, J just for instance. You know, we, we say they're underpaid and overworked. In this case, they might be... Uh, overworked and underpaid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, underworked and right? underpaid. <laughs> overpaid and overpaid underworked. And underworked. So, so, but but how would, you know, if, suppose I have an enlightened county. I'm mm -hmm. not saying which one might be the one. Mm -hmm. And I say, you know, the old system, you know, uh, Howard was busy uh, in upstate New York with that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're going to do it ourselves. We're going to take, we're going to do the best possible code, you know, for the most, uh, you know, uh, best renewable mm -hmm. efficiency. Um, could they have done that? Could they have they, modified it county by county, could, regardless of what you did? Uh, as long as it's as stringent as the model code, yes. As long as it saves equal to or more energy than the model. So they didn't have to wait for the governor to sign this building or, energy code. No, they could have they, done it on their they own. They could have done it on uh -huh. their own, or they just could have taken the code that we developed in the council, lock, stock, and barrel, and given it to the mayor. Mayor says, "Yep, give it to the council." And yeah, the council could have, but it didn't yeah, happen on it, any it, county. It didn't happen. No. The other thing is that you know, okay, so the governor. Let's see, this happened in the 2017 legislature, to your credit. Mm -hmm. And the governor signed it, what, recently? No, not the legislature. It was just their building code council. The group yeah. that oh, it didn't require yeah. legislative action? It went through something called the Administrative Procedures. It's like oh, rules. it's a regulatory. Like rules, yeah. APA. Yeah. yeah. And you, you really don't want to hear about that. No, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. making sausage in a, mm -hmm. a more advanced way. So <laughs> then really, the governor yeah. finally, everything is satisfied under the requirements of the Administrative Mar Procedures. March 20th, <laughs> 2017. He signed it. That is emblazoned on my forehead. Oh, sure. Yes. Maybe you have a tattoo coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so he signs it. Yep. It's March what? Twentieth. March twentieth. Yep. April. And, May, and it says this act shall take effect six months ago. ten days after uh, signing. Yeah. So they had to wait ten. Okay, days. all right. And so roughly six months ago. Huh? Incidentally, and nothing has happened in any of the other well, counties since then. Not in the county level, but when he signs, that's a state government document. All state government buildings are affected, and remember that all university buildings, including all Our 10 community government. colleges, are affected. All 265 public schools are affected. So the state has to follow, affected. the state has to follow that, just that the counties mm -hmm. have to take that for county buildings. For so yeah. if, I'm, if I'm a builder mm -hmm. in, say, the Big Island, right now, today, mm -hmm. I don't have to follow the, the code. You don't have to, but if you talk to me, you will. Why, what would you say oh, to me? I, I just persuade them. I say, don't give your clients a piece of junk. Yeah. What can you do about it? Oh, it, it, right now it's just persuasive yeah. because I can talk building talk, I can talk engineering talk, I can talk dollars. They may not That's talk awesome. to you. They may be building, correct me mm -hmm. if I'm wrong, maybe building right now under the, mm -hmm. you know, the dinosaur code. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But so shouldn't you maybe be talking to the people who are going to buy the houses to say, hey, builder, mm -hmm. why don't you follow this code? Because I'm going to save 30% more if you build it the right way than if right. you build it the old so way. So win, win, win. I, I yeah. just had a good lunch with an activist realtor, and that's, that's not an oxymoron. <laughs> and she says, yes, we must get to the realtors at the national level. Oh, and the appraisers, too. When you have an energy efficiency or renewable energy item in your house, that should be appraised and add to the value of the home. Okay. And yeah. It's happened on paper nationally, and uh, we're it's working like on that. It's like the cars now have it, you know, how much fuel efficiency. Mm -hmm. Then you start starting yep. a movement that mm -hmm. people will demand. The market mm -hmm. will change. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it, it is changing. It is changing. Yeah. So. I guess the, the hold up for me is these mm -hmm. various county councils. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or does, that, does that include Oahu? Yes, it, it does. Oahu. Wow. Oh, wow. So we have, we're lucky here because we have mm -hmm. camera one. Mm -hmm. and camera one is a, a straight interface to all of the mayors and the county councils of mm -hmm. all of the counties. And this is going to let you tell them what's on your mind about what they should be doing mm -hmm. right now. Okay, ready, go. Honorable mayors. When you adopt the IECC International Cons Energy Conservation Code 2015, you will be reducing the energy use in, say, a new home by up to 33 percent 
and in many cases you will reduce construction costs. Wow. Repeat, reduce construction costs, plus you will be building a more comfortable and more healthy home. Let's get on with it. Wow. Now, of course, Monday is Labor Day, but Tuesday would be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, we're out of time. Can you close? Yes. I, I'm just so excited that it's finally passed, and it's just the beginning. So I really mm -hmm. thank Howard for his energy. No pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> ah, pun intended. <laughs> and, and, and not giving up. And not mm -hmm. giving up oh. because it's for our future, and we really do appreciate all you're doing. So you have to come back and tell us. When the first county comes on board, we're going to give them a real boost and, yeah. and make them be the model for the other counties. Mm -hmm. Maybe even be a guest on Think Tank Hawaii. Maybe be a guest ah. on Think Tank. Oh, what a privilege. Oh, what yeah. a privilege. Yeah. 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 Howard, I think we can join and say you really deserve this award, and it's mm -hmm. personal. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, I think Sharon would agree you're a hero. hero. You're an energy I'm hero. An energy That's hero. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Aloha. Thank <you>. Aloha. <laughs>